YouTube. Today I'll be showing some Verotic comics. Uh, these are from Danzing's uh, comic book line. Uh, when they first came out, I didn't get them. A lot of my the shops I went to didn't carry them at the time. Um, so now I'm going back through eBay, picking them up. Uh, these are very violent books. Uh, there's lots of, um, you know, <laughs> nudity per se. Uh, so I can't show any of the insides. Uh, I may have to cover up some of the covers and cells, but what are you going to do? Uh, they're, yeah, they're, they're different books than what I usually read, like a Superman book or anything like that. And I enjoy that. I think there's a room for everything in this, uh, medium so it needs to be some boundaries need to be pushed so it's nice to have these books and they, they did it back in 1995 so without these comics i don't think we'd have some of the books we have now today because uh they really kicked the door down back then and they basically took a lot of them from um the style from japan and stuff like that and introduced it so as we're going through these books uh i'll show you a couple of them I'm just doing a little bit of research on some of them too, some of the artists and stuff. It's pretty crazy who's all been on, been in some of these books. And these are the kind of books, you know, if you're, uh, you know, <laughs> your buddy finds you dead, you know, and your last words are, you know, he's holding on to you. What do you want me to say to your family? And you're like, no, <laughs> get that box on top and throw it out. You know? <laughs> I don't want anybody seeing this. <laughs> so, but yeah, they're, like I said, they push boundaries and that's a good thing. Uh, first up, I picked up a book called Egret. This is issue one. Um, Martin Edmund did the cover of this, and I was uh, I thought I think this thing yeah, it's a pretty cool cover. I mean, so I was like, oh, what did he, what did he, uh, does he do anything else like recently? So I could check out his different art styles and stuff like that. Then I you know looked on his page and it was like he passed away in two thousand four. He uh, I guess he hung himself, and you know. Sad to hear that, but I mean, the, just the look of that, man, that's just fabulous. And Glenn, Glenn Danzig wrote this book, so. And who was it? Eric Canty did the inside of work to it. But yeah, I love these books. I just like, you know, just like having something a little dangerous in my collection, though. Know? Uh, this one I might have to cover up a little bit here. Here we go, we go like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> and this is Igret uh, issue two. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I could I know kids come across this stuff, and yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, compared to other things, but yeah, it's just an awesome cover. I'm a huge fan of his uh, Gwen's writing style too. It's just like it's almost like. It feels like a song inside a book sometimes when I'm reading it, you know, it just like has the tempo of like, you know, how he would sing a song or something like that. To me it does, I mean, others it might not be so much. Uh, another cool thing is he had for, uh, Frank Rosetta do a bunch of, uh, a couple covers of his, uh, for some of his books, and this is uh, Jaguar God, issue number one. I believe that's issue one, yeah. So... Yeah, so Frazetta did this cover, I mean, and they're pretty cool stories, I mean, they're just like, like I said, they're fucking brutal, uh, you know, all kind of, I think you can imagine, like, <laughs> in a book like that, you know, that's what, uh, you'll find it in there, how about that, <laughs> and I also picked up issue two, and I got these all, uh, on eBay, I thought this is awesome, man, look at this, this dude doesn't even have an army swinging an axe thing. <laughs> and it's another Frazetta cover. Yeah, but it's a Jaguar God. Uh, I guess it was that character that Frank Frazetta, I was reading the back here as I read the, read the issue and Glenn wrote a little piece about uh, where this character came from, and I guess it's something uh, Frank Frazetta drew up, and he never gave it a name or anything like that, so when gave him the character name and built a story around him, and it's set in, like, South America, so I guess this is, like, I'd be, uh, one of those uh, legends down that way that might be, uh, I think where Glenn took some of that stuff from, so that's in that book. 
another book I got on eBay. Uh, for those books, I only paid out uh, 12 bucks for the whole lot. So, I mean, I think I got a decent deal. That was, yeah, $12. Or it came out to $13 actually shipped. So, yeah, it was like twelve seventy nine or something like that. And I think I had to pay freaking tax on it for some reason. Yeah, it came out to like 13 something like that. Uh, next up, I picked up another Frazetta cover. It's a uh, Satanica issue number. That's zero, yeah. So, so getting a lot of those, these books, man, a lot of those classic artists, like, in the 90s, those, uh, they were getting looked over, I think, a lot for the new type of guys, you know, Todd McFarlane and stuff. And a lot of those, the older cats that, you know, were doing the stuff in the you know, 60s and 70s were getting passed on. So, that, I mean... It was nice that they had an outlet where they could actually do some books themselves. <laughs> this is a funny story about this one. Uh, <laughs> this one's bad. I mean, so I picked this up on eBay. I think I paid like, it was like $10 shipped. It had a Glenn Danzig signature. I think I, I'm pretty sure. I might send this to PGX. <laughs> I'm not sure if they'll actually grade this one, but uh, this is a straight up, you know, triple X book. Uh, I can show the cover here, but I can't show anything on the inside. I actually got it taped with like packing tape on the back. So no my kids or anything get into that. And I didn't know it at the time. I was just like, you know, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I know that, you know, it could be a little like, risque, but it's full blown, you know, and it's signed. So I was like, oh man, I got this. I was like, it was like, I feel like, uh, like Chevy Chase in that Christmas uh, movie he does, uh, Christmas Vacation. Where he's, you know, he's thinking about getting his bonus and stuff like that. And uh, he sees all the family jumping out in the pool and stuff. I, I said, I, I, when I ordered this on eBay, I was like, yes, I finally got something with Glenn's signature. I'm going to put it right on, like, freaking mantle, you know, right next to my wife's, uh, you know, 1999 <laughs> senior year uh, high school photo and all that stuff, you know. Then I get it and I open it up. I was like, God damn it. And I was like, there's no way in hell I can put this book up. I mean, it was risky enough the way this cover is, but... <laughs> I thought it was so damn funny. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this. Like, I'm gonna put it in a frame or something like that, and uh, <laughs> and show it off to my friends that come over. Like, oh yeah, nice little uh, conversation piece, you know. And I opened it up, like, son of a bitch. Like, <laughs> so it's been buried in my uh, since I got. I like I said, I put the big tape on the back. I put uh, it's buried in my collection. So, <laughs> but it's a uh, Satanica X. And you can see where Glenn signed it right there. I'm pretty sure that's his signature. I've been, um, and I'll show you in a couple of seconds here why I think it is legit. So I'm thinking about sending this to PGX so it gets encapsulated, and it's the cheapest way to uh, to get a book encapsulated and to get me the signature verified. So we'll see. I'm not sure what their uh, policy on those kind of books are. You know, I'll have to find out. I might have send them a, send them an email. Another book I just threw up, you know, I threw up, uh, I think it was like a $12 bid on this book. And uh, I ended up winning it somehow. I was like, yeah, I'll just throw it up. Because usually these books go for a pretty decent penny sometimes. And I, so I just threw up, like, I think it was like $12 and three bucks for shipping. But it was uh, another issue. I got another issue of Death Dealer 1. And you can see where it's one of those books where I guess they were through a comic shop or something like that. What's it called? Let's see. Whiz Bang Comics or something. And I guess they must have had an in-store signing or had the, the artist sign off on these. You can see where Simon Beasley signed right there. It's not coming up in that great because I got this in Mylar. And of course, it had another dancing signature. And these are from two different sellers, two different parts of the country. So, so like, you know, I bought them off the same guy or something. But that's another Frazetta cover too. But so I was like, oh man, that's cool. I'll just you know throw if I get it. At least I know. At least I know the the Beasley autograph is legit. But um, then I compared it to the uh, one I just got or the other one I got, and it pretty much matched up the same. So so you know I'm seventy five percent sure after I got that. Then I ordered uh, and I'll leave a link for the web or the eBay page for this one, and this is for. Glenn Danzing's own uh, erotic comics, um, his own eBay store where he sells a lot of the merchandise. And I ended up picking up uh, 
I'll make sure I get this right, lyrics of the left hand volume two. And each one of these are signed, so I know this is a legit signature. Let's see. Signature, there we go. So you can see it down there in the middle of the page. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's got, uh, if you're a fan of the um, band doing Misfits, it got and Sam Hain, you got built in everything here. I think I, let me just show you one little thing here. There you go. And Simon Beasley did a lot of the artwork, if not all of it in here. But it has all the lyrics right here, and it has uh, pictures, like, I guess, pictures uh, in, inspired by those lyrics. I can't, I won't show any more. You got to buy the damn thing. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want Glenn coming to my house and beating me up, man. <laughs> but the cool thing about this is, uh, I'll leave a link to both. I'll leave a link to the, uh, the Ver uh, Verotic, <laughs> the Verotic, um, eBay page and the, um, the face, uh, it's like a fan page. And that's where I got this, how I found out about this on eBay. Uh, basically what was happening was um they were like putting out a couple at a time just i guess to avoid from people scalping them but the only people that are actually getting these books were scalpers and they were charging like i want to say close to 200 dollars for them uh you know between that 150 200 dollars so all the you know the real fans like you know i could i i still happened to be on my lunch break and then somebody put it up on that website and said oh yeah they're back up on the you know there's five more up there so I ran up there, yeah, I, I clicked on it, and I got my copy. So I was just so, just so happened to be on lunch at that time, and boom, I got it. And it was 40 bucks, so it shipped. So, but I, what ended up happening was the guy that runs that fan site, uh, I guess he's um, close to dancing, like he's a photographer. Uh, he got a bunch of them signed. And he put out a, on the, the Facebook page, you know, anybody needs one, I got them right here for the same price instead of paying, you know, screwing up their fans. So, I mean, I was like, that's what I like about, you know, you know dancing, doing that. That was really cool of them. Uh, instead of having, you know, real fans pay the scalp prices, why not just sell them to yourself, you know? <laughs> I mean, they didn't want to, like, I, I think what they were trying to do when they were only putting a couple out at a time was so people wouldn't buy like 10 copies of them and try to, you know, you know, corner the market on it. And so they, I think they were trying to do it, but it was like every time they would go up, they were gone. You know, so the second best thing is, okay, get them to the Facebook fans. And, you know, get them in the hands of the fans. That's the best thing to do. You know, everybody's happy. You know, Facebook sell out. You know, <laughs> you're not sitting in Glenn's office or whatever. <laughs> But uh, so that was super cool of him to do that. I think uh, a lot of musicians and stuff like that should, you know, that's how they should do their fans. Just go directly to the fans instead of uh, letting these scalpers take over. And it's thought, you know, resellers. I mean, I can't take them. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of vinyl albums I bought over the past couple of months. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the albums that Danzig, like the first five or six albums are really expensive to get so I've been buying like some of the newer stuff and I love the newer stuff to be honest with you uh I love the first four albums a lot I love them a lot but the main albums I listen to now is uh Black Laden Crown and um Death Red Sebiath those are the two albums I listen to dancing a lot you know they're in my car constantly so those are my favorite albums but I love all the old stuff too but don't get me wrong but I love the new stuff too <laughs> So I ended up getting this picture disc. It's another, uh, Simon Beasley did that cover art. But it's a picture disc. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I thought that was pretty awesome. Here's got dancing in the back there. That's awesome. And I, yeah, if you haven't picked up that album, do yourself a favor. I mean, you know, go on Amazon, download a couple songs. I mean, some of my, my favorite songs on here are, um, you know, Last Ride, The Witching Hour, Pull the Sun, uh, what else is on here? Uh, which is the one? Devil on Highway 9, I like that one. I mean, it's a pretty good album. Next up is uh, Dancing Skeletons. 
this was a cover album uh, I really enjoy it too I, if I ever get anything if I ever get a chance to meet Danzing I'm probably gonna ask him to sign this album because uh, I think it'd look nice being signed and everything uh, just one of the things like I want to meet him at a con or something like that where he's like interested I don't want to meet him like before or after a show uh, where he's you know, somebody's you know, <laughs> trying to deal with all the business side of it and then it's like oh I gotta sign this jerk's uh, <laughs> record album you know <laughs> So we could just make me meet him at a store signing or something. That'd be sweet. So, because you know you're there to meet the fans. You know you don't have you're worried about you know the promoter trying to screw you over. Uh, you know the lighting working and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, this one I ordered from Germany. I paid a little bit of money for it. Uh, I mean a little bit more money. I paid like I think I paid fifty bucks. It was one of them deals where eBay had a percentage off sale, and I ended up uh, scooping this up for. This shipped from Germany. And it was, I ended up paying 45 total for it. So I think I got a really good deal on it. And of course, it's the picture disc, uh, Death Red Sabbath. I just love this album. I love that album cover. It's sweet. Oh, shoot. I got, wait, fix that. There we go. <laughs> I can't show the rest of the story. But that's the back of it. I also picked up some Misfits records. I bought this one on Amazon. So this was only uh, $11 one day. I mean, it was uh, shipping prime. I was like, oh, I'll take it. Brand new. It's a uh, Misfits Static Age. I like it. <laughs> this one I picked up at a used record store, actually. And I paid, uh, I think, $12 for this one also. I have the CD ver I have the CDs of all these, but uh, I just wanted the, the vinyl version. Yeah, I actually got this T-shirt too. The last one I picked up was uh, I picked this up at a second in Charles, and I think it was Maryland. It was either Maryland or Virginia, one of those two places. On the way back on vacation, yeah, I think I paid ten bucks for it. So I was like, oh sweet. Uh, so it's the Misfits. And I remember that from the uh, Chambers of Chills issue 19 cover. It has a uh, let's see, yeah, it's it's two, it's a single. It's a 12 inch single, I believe. Yeah. There's the songs that are on it. But yeah, just being a huge fan of this band, it's uh, there's always a huge fan, I guess, of Glenn, um, dancing. There's always stuff to collect. Uh, he's has his, you know, he has a lot of hands everywhere, different music. You know, I get now he's going to movies too, so it's, I'm curious to see what didn't what they pull out with that man. It's gonna be pretty. I think it's gonna be wicked. Uh, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my story. So I'm. What do you think of PGX going to grade that? Should I try it? Uh, <laughs> I almost feel like I want to send like a, like a warning with it. Like, you know, don't let any of your female staff open this or anything like that. Not to be that kind of guy, but you know, I don't want to be somebody that send that to somebody. They got to flip through it. You know, like it's like not that I'm against it or anything. Hey. I just can't have it like floating around my house, like so. I gotta make sure it's like encapsulated, encapsulated in plastic. <laughs> Send to the CGC, see what they say about it. But I know PGX does the uh, authentication of the signature. But again, I will leave the two links down below sometime today. It won't be there right when this video comes up. And I will. Uh... Oh yeah. Please check out my Instagram. I'll put some, a couple of these items up there. You'll be able to people will be able to see them. Uh, I'll try to do my videos and Instagram combined together so that people you know go back and forth and see what the. So maybe I'll let's see. I don't know which one I'm gonna put up yet, but I'll it'll be up soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.